And welcome back everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for part two of our sub battle stream. I'm splitting this up into three parts. Uh, if you want to if you haven't seen the first part, hopefully go back and watch that where you can uh, really see like the full description of what we're doing here. But this is something that we do every now and again, um, about once or twice a month here on the channel, uh, where just take the whole day where I play against subscribers. We got Boot to the Head, who's here also, another Twitch streamer, <laughs> who's here with, with me today. And so far, uh, Team Todd is up 5-2 over Team Chat, but Team Chat is ready to play, ready to get back at it. So let's see who's going to be our next person to battle. So if, you're gonna, if you want to be that next person to battle, go ahead and type the word battle there <clears throat> in chat. Of course, for subscribers only. For myself, uh, we're playing best two out of three matches, and I just spin a wheel every round to decide what deck that I'll be playing. So that's how we uh, dis decide what deck I'm going to be playing here. As you can see, we just finished up with Golgari Citadel. That deck looked really, really nice uh, last round there. <clears throat> All right, so let's see. Let's see who is going to be next. Radical Guru. Oh, Radical got in there. Got in there. <laughs> All right, Guru's been... Oh, whoops, I need this. Guru's been, been really one net. All right, there we go. <laughs> Rigged. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and spin this wheel, see what deck I'm going to be playing here. Um, so make sure you send me that gamer tag, Radical Guru. There's my gamer tag right there. Ugh. Mono white angel. Speaking of angels. Yeah, speaking of Sarah Angels, we we're, were just talking about Sarah Angel. I thought... I, no Sarah Angels in this list. Like, look at, look at that. Like, How see where it, it is? That's right on Demir Tesserator. Oh, well, that's because the model white angels just disappeared. But yeah, I thought we were going to be doing Demir Tesserator. I thought we were going to play, be playing some jank. <laughs> model white angels is pretty sweet. All right, let's see. Oh, <clears throat> uh, I haven't played this deck in a minute. So to answer some of the questions uh, earlier, um, the most yeah. expensive card I own, I actually have sold out of my paper collection and my Magic Online and went straight to Arena. So I don't own any physical cards anymore. Uh, but I did have several cards back in the day. Uh, so back in the day, we played for ante, essentially. And I, I lost some cards, got some cards. Um, Shavrazad was a fun one. Okay, yeah. That's the one where you play a sub-game of Magic. Yeah, I remember that. Yep. Oh, good times. Yeah, Shavrazad. Uh, Jeweled Bird was a thing where you can use that for ante instead. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you, my most expensive card that I have right now is the tabernacle of pendrel i have an oh, italian nice. copy okay um it's right over there in one of those boxes over there on that little pedestal that's my Juzan most expensive card um oh that's this is a good nice. one yeah it's just, a foiled noble hierarchy yeah we got is a noble hierarchy promo uh no this is just like the um that the rptq like... promo okay i have i have four of the judge promos and four regulars and i have this one so i have nine noble hierarchs uh, that's a lot of hierarchs. That is, because I had, because like, because I played so many different noble hierarch decks, like in modern. Like, so I had like, mm -hmm. I had like my four judge promos in like one deck, and then I had like my four regulars in like another deck. I like, I've just played like the regular ones in Value Town, and everything. All right, Ralph Guru's got got this right here. Here we go. All right, so this is our deck, Mono White Angels. Uh, we have some green lands in here, of course, because of Shalai. It's activated ability. Um, but, you know, we're a mono white deck, so we get to play a lot of sweet, colorless utility <laughs> lands. No. Work. Work, copy paste. Maybe oh, wow, not. that's nice. There we go. Finally worked. All right, challenge match, best of three. Oh, I didn't reset, I didn't reset Arena before. We we're talking. We we're gonna reset arena. True. Uh, Ninth day advantage says, "Why is Tomic in the deck? Memory? Tamik? Oh, Tamik. Yeah. So Tamik is just a. It's a solid card. You know, two mana, two three flyer is good, and uh, it works really well with the Johnny adversary tyrants because uh, Johnny can bring it back from the graveyard because it's a two drop, or it can pump it up in the air and you can just have a, a bigger flyer um, there. They reposted their. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I got. Yeah, we we got it. Is that correct? Yeah. 
Radical guru. Okay. Um, yeah. I think I, guru, you gotta choose best of three. That's, that's the problem here. Guru's on best of one. Oh, no worries. Um, but then the other thing, Tamik, the thing that Tamik does really well right now is there's so many Nissa decks running around, and and Tamik shuts shuts off Nissa, um, and then challenge, challenge match. Um, yeah, I just gotta make sure the settings match. Yeah, so choose challenge match and best of three. So with all these Nissa decks running around, Tamik does, um, uh, you know, means you can't you can't tick up and target any lands. You can't actually turn lands into three threes with with Tamik there. All, all right, right, Guru's got it. Here we go. No, you're fine. Yeah, all good. Uh, in games, oh god, that would be. There's a, a lot of people on the forums talking about that Dostal. That's like one of the the main things that people are clamoring for. What is uh, friends list? Hmm. So you can just click it instead of having to type in all the names and stuff. So you gotta say that for the people watching on YouTube that won't have the chat later. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It's not like Nissa's bad when you have to meet because yeah, you still get like the ramp and everything, but um, it's still really nice that your flyer shuts down that part at least. All right, we're gonna need lands. We have a good curve. We hit our land drops, you know, like Tithaker, Gideon, and Johnny. It's a, it's a nice curve. Uh, Naya, what is this? Hey, speaking of which, we can't cast them. <laughs> no. Uh, no land drops for us. That's what this deck is all about: curving out the deck that we're playing right now and so the whole not curving out thing is a problem so you're saying it's counterintuitive to the plan of this deck i would say that okay i'd say this is not the plan not the plan at all um i've i did both trunks to get get the cards in my collection uh drafting sealed and buying boosters as well um but yeah, I've been playing basically basically seven hours a day for around eight months now, every day. And so that's how acquire the cards over time. I'm um, no idea what the percentage is of how much drafting and how much buying boosters. I, I don't remember. Most most of the collection I got was months ago, so I don't, I don't remember. Hey, there we go. We can start doing stuff. All right, yeah, let's start doing stuff. Um, maybe Angel start with? It blocks. So, yeah, the Angel blocks well, but it doesn't block any better than... To, like, Tamik and Angel block as good as each other, and they both have three toughness. Right, I was thinking about mana efficiency, though. Right, but Angel is just a lot better late game card. Like, this is like this is card in the late game okay. is really, really nice. So I, I want to try to save Resplendent Angel... I don't want to respond an angel to like die to a lightning strike right away. Okay. This is a card that you know, like, yeah, later on want this. And if Tamik dies, like maybe next turn we can minus and grab Tamik again and have a good blocker. All right. Again with a Johnny. Assuming we draw another land. <laughs> yeah, that would. <laughs> so you assume much, sir. <laughs> yeah, we're probably not going to actually have that extra land. Ooh. Yeah. Would you like to meet Ooh, not killing to me. She's pretty good against angels. Yeah, real good against angels. Real good with angels, too. All Yeah, I like Gids there. This is a prime day for justice. 
Vigilance. So I'm going to attack Vivian for three. So they can't. So if they minus Vivian, Vivian dies. Ah, strike me. Yeah, hard to play Angel nature. in that spot. I wish Gideon could give itself lifelink, like try to get to like gain this five life I've kind of thing. Things mm. that would break someone like you. Bunch of shillies. Yeah, the gem bundle, the hundred dollar gem bundle, is the one with the best value. So for everyone out there, uh, just know that. All right, here are some goblins coming in. Ooh, and the war boss. Huh. Bring it on. All right, you're doing good, Gideon. I believe in you, friend. I don't think it's actually worth it to attack with Tamik because I think just having Tamik back to block is is going to be better for us. I mean, what would attacking even do? It would mean that if Shalai blocks Tamik, then then Vivian dies, basically. Or if, huh. yeah, that that makes sense. Like they want to keep Vivian around. They have another Shalai to play again. Like, that block makes sense. I mean, but what I was saying was they were gonna block Gideon anyways. Like if he sent everything, she'd be at one right now. Every defeat is a new and you'd beginning. Still have a, an angel. <laughs> hmm. Yikes. Hey, there we go. Yeah, we're doing Stuff's good. Stuff's happening. You got to. Yeah, not, not much of a choice. Uh, I assume give him vigilance and finish off. Yeah, probably to me, right? Why'd you do this? I that? believe in you. Because Vivian's at one, and so like if this is if there's a lightning strike here, I'd rather them lightning strike the one one than lightning strike to meek. All right, we're getting lands though. We're doing no, 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 like I like I would have gave to meek vigilance and swung at face, and then the token can still be ten. I don't know. Path of Discovery, guys. Nice. You would still just send the token over and just not yeah. not had another blocker. Yeah. So that if they if they just had a removal spell for Tamik, then Gideon would die. I mean, if they had a removal spell, it was going to die anyways. No, because no, because the one one blocks the two two. It takes two. Oh, it's at three. Okay. Yeah, you're right. All right. Let's see. Wild Growth Walker, Path of Discovery. That's going to be messy. That's going to be real messy. Together, we are unstoppable. More blockers. Back on your feet. <laughs> All right, Tamik Vigilance. I will lend you my strength. Attack them for six. How are we? Ugh. They're at 15 still, and they have a Shalai in hand. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I guess we could start ticking up on a Johnny next turn. That helps. Like, that starts a little bit of a train going. Yeah. And Johnny can put a counter on Gideon also, so we can make Gideon a 5-5 five five to help. I mean, that still doesn't oh, get through Wild Rifle's deck has everything. Yeah. Oh, oh it really does have everything. Holy crap. Oh, we are, man. We are so dead. Well, that spiraled real quickly. Well, we need to... We're going to need... We need to draw our own Lyra. Oh, the fact that Hellkite has the counters. 
Yeah, I mean, Guru could have given could have gave the Hellkite haste and not put the counter on it because the path to discovery was going to put a counter on it. So it could well, have had if, haste if here. Didn't hit a, well, yeah, you already knew Cause, that. It yeah, because I already yeah. knew that that was mm -hmm. on top because the Shalai. Yep. <laughs> not a kitchen sink. No, I don't think. No, Guru's not playing singleton because we've seen two shalais. Not, not singleton. Oh, apparently there's a new one written in stone. Okay. I will lend you my strength. Share in my light. Okay, want to make the Hellkite bigger than Lyra? I mean, I mean, Shalai does that. Yeah, too, the next though. turn, the Shalai would do that also. But that that could have been the thought there. Okay, so written in stones, a, a new code. Okay, so. We'll, For Nahiri, that's a good one. What the card? No, the card's not good. But that's a, that's a good. <laughs> no, that's that's a cool one for Nahiri. Written in stone. Written in stone works pretty well for Nahiri. Okay, I'll, I'll give you that. <laughs> Gosh, Tristani. Ooh. It really is Naya kitchen sink. Good gravy. I love it. I think it's great. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have... This is going to be tough for me to pull this off. Don't have a lot going for me here. But... I've wanted worse scenarios before. Trunks with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, thank you so much there, Trunks. Welcome to the channel. Ooh, new subscriber. Appreciate that support there. Our fourth sub of the day. No, I don't have any wraths. What are you attacking? You're attacking there. Where are you attacking? There. Looks like did he send them all to get it? No, like so the Hellkite's going at a Johnny, so I'll just block the Hellkite, keep a Johnny around and let Gideon die. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. Do not tap the mobilized district. That arc so was gonna be a mess too. Yeah. Everything's a mess. <laughs> I guess we need. Yeah, I guess we'll just play this actually instead of the mobile districts. <laughs> Boot used to be on our team. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna give Resplendent Angel Life Link. Uh, unfortunately, Krita Com settle's not gonna work because of Shalai. Cleansing Nova would work. Tick up on these two. And down with Boot. You're capable of more than you assume. All right, so Resplendent Angel has Life Link, gets to gain five for us, so we get to trigger, get an Angel into play. Jeez. And then all those get to explore. Oh, they gained so much life. Oh, this is rough. And they can 
Oh my gosh. So they get <laughs> oh, no. So Guru can play the fifth land from hand, activate Arc Bow, put Lyra into play. Yep. Even though I have Lyra binding. Yeah, that's I hope they, that's I hope game. they see that. That's game. Yeah, I hope they see that play. And now the Shalai has lifelink also. I kind of think that like my only sweeper in the sideboard is Settle, which isn't good with Shalai. <laughs> it was game about seven turns ago. You're not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> it's not not game. That's that's not game. So, yeah, Settle is the only my only sweeper. Mm. I feel oh, like we have. You, a... I feel like you kind of have to bring it in if you can deal with the. All shy. right, so what? So that's attacking me, 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 me. They're just attacking me. Hmm. You can block there. You can... Double this, this Shalai. You can put the Vanguard in front of the 6-5. Just pay four. Oh, oh, there's a 6-5 attacking also? Yeah, right, the Ranger right there. Yeah. Jeez. So you're taking nine. Do I need a double Hellkite? Um, Doesn't seem I like they're... I feel like Shalai would be the better. In case you draw a removal for Hellkite. Taking four so on taking top of nine, the two. Ten, eleven. Nine plus four is thirteen. Yeah. Jeez. That's a lot of damage. Should I even pay the four life with Vanguard? It's probably worth it. It's going to save more than four life next turn. Yeah. Citywide? Hmm. <laughs> Let the conceit flow through you. Never give up. <laughs> never surrender. No, oh, yeah, we could. I, we could totally draw. I can figure this out. I got this. Yeah, drawing. Need to draw Lyra. They have Dire Fleet Daredevil too. Oh my god. It's a 7-7. Seven, seven. I don't think that was the draw. Okay. So you're not getting past the Lyra, so what can you do? Can you get Atomic? No, Tide Taker. Return to the fight. Yeah, we're gonna need you to return to the fight here, bud. <laughs> hmm. Your light will cleave the darkness. <clears throat> All right, we're not doing too good here. <laughs> History of Benalia was not the draw step we needed. Get back here and stand in front of that bus. <laughs> uh, no, no idea how many mythic level players are on Arena because it it switches all the time. There's there's not very many at the beginning of the month, and then there's a whole lot more at the end of the month. You know, because it gives you know people have time to to make it and everything. This is where he starts shooting down everything. Yeah, if they just activate Hellkite a bunch, I'm dead. Hey, look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can you activate the district? Yeah. Okay. Wait, right. no, maybe not. No, because I didn't grab Tamik. But in, even if I could, I, I don't have enough. Right. But it blockers. all depended on whether or not they had swung out. All right, game two. 
So let's get another honor guard in here. That yeah. would have been a good card to have. Like I, I honestly standards. think settle would be okay if you could deal with the Shalai. Yeah, all you have to do is get rid of Shalai. So it's one of those calls that you'll have to make. Did he have anything else besides no? Because the the other thing is an artifact. Right. Was it just it was just path of discovery? Was the only enchantment we saw? Yep. I don't want to demystify then. It's pretty narrow. Um. Maybe binding is not even that great since because of Vivian. I could see like Night of Autumn coming in too. Yeah. Baffling End gets rid of Wild Growth Walker. What do you think? A one of settle, just in case? Over binding? I could do that. I wonder if they play Carnage Tyrant too, just because. <laughs> yeah, why not? Hmm. We have way too many four mana cards in this deck. I need to not. I need to. I remember this the last time. I think I need to switch. But I mean, I love binding, but I think I need to switch uh, it to prison realm just because of how many fours. Devo four twenty did say spyglass for arc bow or Vivian. I don't hate that idea. Nah, there's not room. Okay. All right, I I'm, I would need all four of the Ajani's in this matchup because of Honor Guard. I think Honor Guard is going to be really important, and so if Honor Guard dies, I'm going to want the Ajani to be able to bring back Honor Guard. I mean, this hand actually has lands, which is good, but I don't think Tithe Taker and Tamik are going to get it done. Well, maybe Tamik and Gideon. Gideon. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Wanderer is pretty cool. I like that. Doesn't hit Shannon though, so it does whenever they have Tristani or anything else like that in play. Or, or Lyra. Yep, or Lyra, or I guess it does they have Path of Discovery. District too. Hey, that's a curve. Together we can banish evil from this plight. Believe in you. Go, Gideon, go. No Jade Light Ranger one time? Yeah. Yay, no Jade Light. Alright, let's give it to Meek Lifelink. Okay. Well, no, let's just I do the ones again. Gideon's pretty sweet. Yeah. Big Gids. Gideon should see more play than than it does. Oh. How are we this good at drawing cards? Yeah. Yeah, Wanderer doesn't hit that Shalai, so... I will lend you my strength. Om nom. Attack. That's so much damage. See, this is why, when, uh, game one, when I said this deck's all about curving out. Yeah, I see. Oh, now wow. you can see. Yeah. That's like, that's exactly what this deck does. It, so when it has lands, it does things that are incredible. Yeah, gets the curve out. Ooh, gets us at seven, too. This is great. Mm hmm. Yeah, I can minus six Gideon next turn. All right. Hey, Wanderer. Yeah, they only have like the one. I mean, we can just attack with the two creatures in the air for lethal. Uh, I could just minus six Gideon. Well, let's definitely minus six Gideon. Mm -hmm. I won't show Wanderer, but that animation's awesome. My sword is your end. That's worth doing right there. That animation's so cool. Shh. 
Black Blade. And my opponent just conceded to Quench, <laughs> the only, only spell I played. That is uh, more than, than five damage. Just play one Quench, concede. You know what? On the draw, I'm going to go Baffling Ends over Tithe Taker. I think I want Baffling End, get rid of Wild Breath Walker. Okay. Or Explore Creatures. I think that that's going to do more for us than Tithe Taker will do here for this matchup. We'll see if I'm right or not. Let's just get rid of Wild Growth Walkers. <laughs> Plays a blue land. Islands, I'm out of here. <laughs> you don't think it was like play quench and then the opponent was like, I, I really am pretty thirsty and then just like quits and like... <laughs> it's a great idea. I'm going to Goes to... Goes to Sonic to get like a slushy or something. All right, now we are fully quenched. Is this another one of those hands, or is it too slow? I'm gonna try it. Okay. I definitely like the the mana. We're gonna have to draw. We have two draws to draw the two drop. Okay. Not quite the two drop, but we had two draws. I don't hate that. That's no. that's all right. We have that's one drop. We get another one. Baffling. Okay. Yeah, we need a baffling and or honor guard. We well, I mean, we can start doing stuff next turn. Yeah, stuff's good. We're not dead yet. Actually, this curve is pretty good because then you can pick up a Johnny, mm -hmm. and then play Lyra. Yep, and then and then make angels. Yep, for days. There's no way Radical Guru plays any interaction for us, right? How um, would they do that? That'd be. Do you think they play settle? Nah. No I fear. am proud to Should I do fight counter on the Wild Rush? Deliver I, I, us you to You can. Victory. You can actually. <laughs> Man, you were not Our kidding. Plans, if this deck curves out, working. it is just stupid powerful. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Ancestral Knowledge. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, wait. That's yeah, that doesn't kill a Johnny. Nope. No, that no, does. does kill a Johnny. Oh, no. no. It's fine. We still get an angle. Where I yeah. Failed. Ooh. Blast on. Angels are bigger than dragons. Yeah. Everybody knows that. Check that out. Five five. You're just making just pumping them out. Yep, just all five five. Ever splendid is just working overtime. Lyra the taskmaster. <laughs> Cranking out angels. Seven hundred ranks today. Oof. Whoa. Oh, because no Angel Xerox dot deck. No double green. That's why, you know, discarded Jade Light. Uh, Guru had okay. Jade Light, Wild Growth, but no double green over here. Does 15 even save him here? I don't think so. I think they lose the Hellkite. Yeah, I could just binding it. Oh my god, just binding it and game over. Just just finish him. Play Honor Guard first, so we know no more exploring. <laughs> okay. No more exploring. And no dragons. Turns out Angel's just... Uh hit harder than dragons apparently I'm trying to say good game there we go still good game gg there guru that was a fun one that first one that game one was pretty sweet turn three induced amnesia narset combo yes that is pretty legit now yeah. imagine if you're playing it's a soul tie list right necro so you can run uh Vraska. go uh you know turn three I'm reset this uh narset or actually if you run the elf uh, you can go like turn three and induced amnesia, Narset, Braska. Yeah, do the thing. Yeah, do the thing. <laughs> yeah, it's the thing. Do the thing. Yeah, we played a Sultai Amnesia list on stream like a week or two ago. Oh yeah, and it was yeah, it was a lot of fun because yeah. 
four mana for Aska, <laughs> sacrificing your amnesia. You know, you just tuck all your cards, sacrifice it, get all your cards back. You get so many cards. Indeed. That's a lot of cards. That's so more if, than three cards. <clears throat> yeah, but Beans, for my deck, I'm going to spin this wheel and let the wheel decide what, what I'm playing up next. Um, yeah. yeah, GG's there, Guru. He did good, Guru. He did good. Yeah. Good games. All right, so if, if you are a subscriber and want to be the next person to play, go ahead and type battle into the chat now. Um, and we'll see who is up next. And then, yeah, so I, we started with 30 decks here on the wheel. Uh, you know, we've gone through eight of them so far. We've played eight matches. Each time we play a deck, then it gets removed from the wheel, and we just kind of spin it. Uh, playing different decks that we play here on stream that we've played over the last couple of weeks. There. Ooh, a lot of people want to come at you. Yep, got a lot of people in here. All right, let's see who's next. Let's keep this going. Chizaka. Right. Chizaka. Our one of our new subs. All right, thanks, Chizaka. All right, you are up next, so uh, get, send me your gamer tag. There's my gamer tag there, and I will spin the wheel. See what deck we're playing up next. Hey, Kurt Bros. Do, definitely doing really well. Hope you're doing well over there in Indy. <laughs> All right, Gruel Dinosaurs. Oh, what? You still have this? Yeah. Well, I had. Yeah, and I definitely had to add it today. Do you know why? Why? Because the Dinosaurs won the NBA f uh, championship yes last night. They won the NBA Finals. The Toronto Dinosaurs. They actually have a team called Toronto Dinosaurs. Well, they're they're the Raptors, but oh, okay. yeah, they're, <laughs> oh, yeah, they're oh, dinosaurs. that makes more sense. Yeah. Okay. And the Toronto like Dinosaurs. Oh my god, I'm dumb. Yeah, so Dinosaurs won the finals. So here we go. Shows you how much I keep up with that. Where is... It's uh, right there with the Galta. Yeah, there we go. Dinosaurs. All right, no, so it's this okay, is our... Radical. You still did great. Yeah, you did good, Radical. Don't... <laughs> Kawinosaurus? Yeah. Is Ka Kawinosaurus? Kawino? Kawai. Kawhi? Well, Kawhi is, yeah, he's their the best player. So oh, okay. Kawhinosaurus. <laughs> ah. Kawhinosaurus. Y'all throwing me for a loop. like, there's actually someone named them. I'm so gullible. All right, so that's our dinosaur deck. Uh, challenge match, best of three. I need to switch that again because I just reset, so i got to switch that. You have not missed Mono Green Tron. Nope, yeah, nobody's, yeah, we have not spun Mono Green Tron yet. All right, good luck, Chizaka. <laughs> Let's keep it. So this is Ooh, this is one of our best cards there. Hey, thanks thanks so much for that donation there. Yeah, love the nice tie. Hey, glad uh -huh. to have you lurking. Thank you so much there, ancestral. Uh, Appreciate Rebels that support. Ask, uh, did you recognize the deck they were playing? Yeah. So well, I didn't recognize the exact list. Naya good stuff. Yeah, but it's not. It. <laughs> yeah, Naya Arkbo with Angels and Explorer. Pretty sweet. Yeah, I think 23 is enough lands for Naya Hero. You I mean, you well, you're it's, it's certainly risky. Actually. You know, like you you will um run into games like where you don't have enough land drops, but I think it's worth it. No, the Huntmaster getting shocked. Very bad for us. Okay, because we have Drover. Or do you want to throw out the Scavenger? Um, I'll play the Drover. Because, yeah, Huntmaster giving our, our Dinos haste. Like, that that was really poor. Like, the next turn we were going to be attacking with Ripjaw Raptor. Like, not only playing Ripjaw, but attacking with it. Okay, it was not it was Naya Value updated a bit. All right, sweet. Ah. I like it. I, I don't know. I don't know who Volkswagen is on. Volkswagen? That sounds awesome. On MTGO. I don't know. All right. Let's see. What are we doing? Sub battle. All right. More Growth Chamber Guardians. Need to get this up to date on. Need to get the 
what everything we're doing. YouTube. I need to get the YouTube video <laughs> uploaded. <laughs> you got there. There we go. Sub battle stream. There we go. Sub battle stream. Part no. And then six, fourteen, nineteen. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, don't forget Father's Day is coming up, everyone. Oh, is that that's this Sunday? I believe so. Yeah. So do do the thing. All right, uh, we got a phoenix. I'm just gonna nom it. I love it. Nom nom nom. Mmm, spicy phoenix. Good thing we didn't play that Yeah, that's what earlier. we call hot wings right there. <laughs> <laughs> Storm, where you at? You can't reach my level of pun. <clears throat> I don't even really like this attack that I'm doing here, honestly. <laughs> Get the double block. All right, good. I'm glad, not, glad there's not a double block there. That was that was pretty good. Hot wings. <laughs> I've never heard Phoenix called Hot Wings before. That's just even that's a that's a good name <laughs> for Phoenix. Well, I mean the fact that you ate it with the scavenger was hilarious. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Storm, Storm did you it. miss my pun? I'm done. Wow. Uh, I can't do it again. You you missed it. It's over. <laughs> it's past. Since scavenger ate the Phoenix, said scavenger is eating Hot Wings. Uh, no blocks. <clears throat> I don't like. I would. I would double block if we knew there there was no removal in Shizaka's hand. But there could definitely be like a shock there, and we get blown out. So Scavenger needs to eat a spell to turn into a four three. Oh my goodness gracious! That's a Dino. Yeah, but is it even is it even a good Dino to have right now? You're gonna try to like attack. to attack. Why, with. why don't you attack first? See what happens. Yeah, because I don't think we want to attack with that. Just that three three right. there into the four four. Oh, I agree. All right, eat the spell turns into a four three. I'm glad we didn't. I didn't mess that up. It was somehow the other thing. <laughs> I want you to kick me for that pun. <laughs> Need to give you give you the boot. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, this is looking decent for us. Oh yeah. That's a bunch of elf crabs over there, though. What do you think's more ferocious, elf elf crabs or elf crab warriors? There you go. Let's give them their full title or dinosaurs. I'm gonna go with the dinos. Okay, you're gonna go dinosaurs. <laughs> Hey, Starnut, doing good. Hope you're having a good Friday. Yeah, I just, right. I'm, I'm trying to picture elf crab warriors uh -huh. staring at a dinosaur and going... Rubbing their hands together like that? What am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> <laughs> These are pretty big. Like, that does not look like a 4-4. Like, that does not look bigger than it's, this uh, thing. It's all the claws. The, the tough exterior. Ooh, that's bold. We're going to draw some dino here and, ha and ha give it haste because the Registrar Alpha, and then we're going to lightning strike him and kill him. Somehow. Do they drop the. No, Lucaro, I'm not. Raptros. I don't know how much we're attacking for here, but I think it's a lot. Uh, Lucaro, I am. Let's see. So if I if I kill this, they get to block, block, and they take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, they're at thirteen. I thought they were at ten, but I was at ten, yeah, thinking ten because of lightning strike. And then uh, we do have memorial, huh? Just 
just gonna go for it. Hmm. If they block three three, block three three, they go to one. And then they have And then, the then they yeah, then they can kinda kill me coming back, so we'll just go like this. Uh, I don't think you yeah, eat your strike. Hey, yep. There we go. All right, so we're three over three hours through. Got a little less than four four hours to go. Why won't for our sub stream your tonight? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like they don't want me to draw cards. Man, <laughs> it's true. So we're coming up on the halfway point, and it's where we're eight. This is like the ninth Do you match. Have Dalton this day? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, we got a Galt in here. Ooh, that's a bold attack. Um, what does that signal? I mean, I I think that they've had a burn spell like this whole time. Like, like probably I guess a lightning strike. This could be two lightning strikes to Double be honest. Double lightning strike that would put you dead. Yeah, it would. Let's just go with this block. Like, Let's I think I think it. there's one lightning strike. Yeah, definitely we'll see, one. We'll see if there's a second. If there's a second. <clears throat> that's kind of annoying. So if we try to put him on six points of burn, we should be wary of that. Uh, they do have Gruel Spellbreaker, but that only puts you to seven. So this could hit Scavenger that we could attack with this turn. Uh, hello. <coughs> do you have enough lands to cast that? Not this turn. Not next turn either. Yeah, next turn. Yeah, it costs oh, five. Oh, that's minutes. right. It costs one less. That's right. Huntmaster MVP. No, it doesn't. Looks like no burn spell. <clears throat> All right. Looks like no nothing. All right, Dinos. They won game one of the NBA Finals, and one game one here. <laughs> so we're playing against other Gruel stuff. Hmm. Allosaurus, I love it. I guess I should have coils because of Phoenix. Mm-hmm. Probably shop coils instead of shock. And just like spell breakers and uh, a lot of people like are changing up the <coughs> collision with the one that puts it on the bottom. Yeah, yeah. This deck also kinda wants this for Colossus, but yeah, no, Force Landing is really good against the Arc Light Phoenix decks. And and Rekindling Phoenix, both of those. Those are like the most played flyers these days are those Phoenixes, so mm -hmm. yeah, Force Landing. Probably better. This list is a little old, as you can tell. Like Cinder Vines isn't as important anymore as it used to be. Okay. No, I have no no idea what cards M twenty is going to reprint. Lava Coil no. for Hot Wings. <laughs> yeah, gotta get the Lava Coil for the. Gotta turn those. Uh, I do regular know wings that uh, wings. Chandra is going to get printed. Yeah, we know the three Chandras. Did I? Did you hear the joke I made about Chandra the other day? Mm -mm. Uh, I was like, they're going the way of Pokemon with the evolutions, mm -hmm. so we can call it Chandrazard. <laughs> All right, Chandrazard. <laughs> that works. I'll take it. <laughs> Chandra Million. There's no way this this Drover the Mighty dies though, right? No way. There's no way. No. No way. <laughs> Get Growth Chamber Guardian out of here. Don't want to see a whole bunch of elf, elf crab warriors. What about Spellbreakers? That's yeah, fine. Ooh. So close to a Carny T. Carny T with Regisaur Alpha, even. Don't kill Drover. Don't kill Drover. Don't kill Drover. No. Oh, I, I think it's dead. Ooh, ooh, it lives. No, no. Burn spell? Oh, the yeah, because they had oh, red. Okay, fine. Uh, All right, need more lands. Yeah, exactly. They don't uh, reprint land or elves, but elvish mystic, <laughs> or maybe even uh, what was the one that made white mana? It was Avacyn's Pilgrim? Yeah. Maybe elves of deep shadow to make black mana. Mm. Bustin' Eggs is my bread and butter. Birds of Paradise? Birds of Paradise hasn't been printed since what? M12? 
Yeah, I think that's our. Yeah, I, mean, I have an app for that. Finhorn elves yeah, from Ice Age. I remember those guys. So this is this is lethal if they just have Carnage Siren fight Registrar Alpha. Yikes! Well, that was brutal. Yep. All right, let's look this up. Birds of Paradise. We are the many. Okay. Let's look at the latest printing. I think I'm twelve. Let's see. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be on the play this time. Eighth edition. Let me see, 2010, 2011, 2012. That is a... not an efficient way to figure this out. No, there's so many reprints of this thing. It's ridiculous. You're just looking at pictures and looking for what set that well, is I mean, not I'm efficient. Going, I'm going through all of them. They didn't have them in an order. This, this app is... Yeah, it looks like it's M12. All right, so we only have two lands here, but commune with dinosaurs will basically be another land. So we, we have a three land hand here. So we, we do need to draw a fourth one. There we go. There's a fourth one. So now, no, now we get Ripjaw Raptor, Raptors to start with. So yeah, <laughs> good hand, but it doesn't start until turn four. Uh, one to, well, that's you dead. just play the alpha next turn and get in some damage. Well, this is dead. Yeah, All right, that's 100% so like dead. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that thing's not surviving. Yikes! Ooh, no lands over there. Plain old Doom Blade. Huh. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I could see Doom Blade. Wait a minute. Uh, Doom Blade seems D's. Yeah, I could see that being printed. More dinos. I love it. It's gonna be a lot if of we, damage. If we draw a forest next turn, we can play both of these. If we draw a forest, or yeah. Are you sure, we don't win. How? Oh, I didn't see the memorial over there. Find your mic. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, we need to draw a forest. Um, stumbling on lands. Yeah. Uh, not good. Not no. pushed all. Dang. GG. <laughs> playing 55. Well, we have punishments for punish playing 55 you. mana they dorks. You. you know, we get Fiery Cannonade, Cryconarium, Deafening Clarion. There, there's a lot. Uh, Ritual of Soot. Then going up the curve, you got Cleansing Nova. Star of Extinction. Widespread Brutality. Yep. I don't know how much minus this is going to be. That's, That's going to be a I lot. I want to say it's going to be negative 7. Did I count that right? Uh, it's actually less than negative 7. 15. It's at least negative 7. Yeah. <laughs> All right. The Dinos won the NBA Finals <laughs> Just yet again. Just GG. GG's. Sorry about that. Game three there with yeah. the mana. But we had had some good curve outs there. Games two and three. Back and forth. Two great. Three Phoenixes in hand. Yeah. I, oh, I mean, I kept no. I I kept a three land hand with everything costing four or more there. Um, yeah. I, I, it worked out. Yeah. And I just drew lands and Chizaka didn't. The hot wings. Yeah. That, that's a whole lot of hot wings. That's a triple order of hot wings. <laughs> Man, I could use some wings right now. That sounds pretty good. Not going to lie. All right, so let's see who is up next. If you'd like to be the next person to battle, if you're a subscriber, type battle Someone's got to chat. represent chat here. Someone's got to step up, represent. Throw down. All right, final try for you, Storm. <laughs> is it going with the capital of... Now, you do have to be a sub to battle. That's why it's sub battle. All right. I will throw down as soon as the patch finishes. 
Hey, no worries. I'm good, B. Oh, no, you're fine. Just posting up in chat is, is fantastic. Thank you for the support. You guys are great. All right, let's see who's up. Looks like everybody had enough time to get in there. Show me your kitties. With the... Uh, Where are you? Uh, is going to be next with the win there. All right, so send me your gamer tag, kitties. Oh, that's all right, Storm. Yeah, I was, I was looking for your kitty. Yeah. Yeah, oh, he's, he's asleep up on the bed. Oh, okay. Yeah, Hawkeye's up asleep on the bed. So there's my gamer tag. Let's let the wheel decide what deck we are going to be playing here. Turn, turn, turn. There it is, the oh, Mirror Tesserator. Okay. You were hoping for that one last time. Yeah. Rigged. Demir <laughs> Tesserator. Get some get some jank up in here. You just like the animation. Yeah. That's that's really the thing. I'm charging my laser. Show me your kitties has named Cream Soda. Will of Morality, thank you, Nar Necrolopsy. Oh, I could not remember it. Alright, where's our Demir Tesserator? Wheel of Morality. Deck? That's from the show Animaniacs. All right, so this is what our deck looks like. We got some artifact stuff. Um, let me try to get this deck up on our stream decker command. Let me look for it. It's a little ways down. Let's see, Demir Tesserator. That is really far down there. Is that the last time you updated it? There it is. There it is. Yeah, I mean, I played it. So yeah, I played it four weeks ago. Oh, wow. All right. Have you built a counters deck yet for the event? I have not. No, I haven't. Um, some uh, Somebody posted in the Discord channel that just regular mono, that they did really good with mo regular mono red, that they got all 10 wins in about an hour uh, with just mono red, that, that it was helping out like Steamkin and everything. I can see that. Hey, good job, Mercer. You win Selesnia tokens for it? Okay. Yeah, Selesnia tokens could use that extra body as well. Uh, do you have experience with Arc Bow? Ha! Ha! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's like the card I probably play like the most. Yeah, I love Vivian's Arc Bow. I think it's really, really, really strong. I like it quite a bit. Just make sure I got it right. Yep, challenge match, best of three. Uh, yes, he, he does have a lot of experience with it, and it is, it's a pretty good deck. <laughs> yeah, uh, I played Bant Arcbow. Bant. Yep, and uh, yesterday we played Gruul Arcbow in Mythic and started off 4-0 with it. Uh, lost our last one, though, so we went 4-1 with it there. But it did really well there. Yeah, I... Uh, Basically both. I mostly create decks myself, make a lot of decks all the time, but then also uh, we have really sweet decks that are made by viewers that uh, donate for them, and so we get some good donation decks um, all the time also. <laughs> oh, well, Lucaro. Yeah, thanks Thanks so much, Lucaro. Hey, just, just being here, uh, watching and, and everything, supporting, I really appreciate that. But thanks for the kind words. Oh, and you get uh, Sway's dumpster fires. Yeah. <laughs> Those are good. Those are good, too. All right, so I'm going to pay two life so I can gain a life this turn instead of just waiting. I love it. Yeah, so you got to get that tempo. Uh, scared money don't make money. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll just go I with like the Gilded Globes. Well, yeah, try to... Just so you can start taking it up. Well, we could just take it up. Like, next turn, we can just pay three mana. You I know, mean, but then you could have had two counters at that point. No, because we can't get a counter this turn. Like, how do we get it? You know, it costs two mana. You have to pay one to activate. We don't have the one to activate. Okay, I see. Together, we'll but, create but look at this. Yep, yeah. now I could have. If yeah. I would have played Treasure Map, I would have been able to activate it. Yep. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Got him. No, it's good. Uh... Yeah, ancestral knowledge. Yeah, we did. Um, check out it's the videos from yesterday on the YouTube channel with the Gruul Arcbow deck. Check it out. Sin Christ, you're great. Hmm. 
got all these servos. So I could turn a servo into a servo. I could turn a servo into a treasure map. What? When it reversed, does it still have the treasure counter? Uh -huh. Science, my dude. Science. So you think I should turn a servo into a treasure map? I think you should map? science the out of it. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess I'd have to do... Well, I thought you were going to do it before you attacked. Yeah, I guess I'd have to do this one, because if we're going to tap it... Because we can't do the one that's summoning sick. Oh, right. So I guess I have to do no attacks. All right, so we're going to turn this into... A no way map. this works, right? Genius <gasps> is as genius does. All right, so now we're going to activate it as a treasure map. Um... I mean, that stops a Kiora. Yeah, so, I mean, does stopping Kiora really matter? Uh, for the ramp? I don't know. What are they playing? <laughs> I don't know. Let's, let's find a Tezzeret. Or okay. a Karn or something. All right, and it now still it, has the tread. What if it flips? It has one landmark no, counter. Flip, yeah. No, it can't flip. No, but it has okay. a, a landmark counter. That is fantastic. You ever play servos with landmark counters? Science has been done this day. Phoenix? That's like an actual creature. We can't beat that. I mean, we can beat it if we dip it in ranch, right? <laughs> that, that's eat it. <laughs> oh, no, you said beat it. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Um... I guess I'm just going to sack this draw card. Oh, okay. Shit. Okay, that that did it. Still a couple like one mana short there still cuz I could have I could have activated Mox Amber, turned this into a Mox Amber, activate, you know, like tap the other Mox Amber, you know, like it so I could have and then, you yeah, know, I could have three mana there. That's basically. pretty gross. But we need four. <sighs> uh, I am a fan actually. Ow. We live to fight another day. Sahili, no. Sahili, bye. Swahili. Swahili. Rippy. <coughs> That'll draw a card from Kiora. Oh, I didn't. I'll keep Scry. Whoops. Punished. Kind of rewarded, I guess. Yeah, actually, yeah. Because I would have put that on the bottom, mm -hmm. and then I would have just drawn the Drowned Catacomb. Get this out of here. Out of here for good. So... They're going to be drawing a lot of cards. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we need to find Tezzeret. Yes. Bzz. Let's start. start going with the Claw. Put a bunch of bad cards on the bottom. You didn't subscribe by copying map again. Oh, you think I should have copied map again? Yeah, I mean, the... It was probably You're just going to die anyway. <laughs> the claw. It is the claw. Look at that ripped on map. You're not supposed to draw a card yet. That's not how that works. Let's draw a card after you get damaged. Bzz. Uh, so you said you deal a lot of damage. Yeah, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh. Deal eight, gain eight. Whoa. Kuro is so good in the right shell. Yeah, it is. Hmm. Hmm. Draw card? You just play the so back. if I scry first, then draw, I'll have four mana left. Let's do that. Right. Oh, check that out. Uh, mm. Motech Max says, just made Mythic in my first full month playing Arena. What's the 97% by my ranking? That means you are in the 97th percentile of everyone playing. It does not mean that. It does not? No. What does that mean? It means you're 97% of the way to being in the top 1,200 or like basically basically means yeah like you're you're three percent away from being the the top twelve hundred. I don't really like basically. Isn't that... No, it, it doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, let's see. 
wait, cancel. I don't want I don't want to actually minus that. Isn't that? No, it doesn't it doesn't take all the all the people like in all of all of mythic doesn't do that? No. No. Basically like there's there's top 1200 and then um, right after that is is 99% to get to top 1200 and then 98 97 and so on because there's not people like in like the two percent you know like there's just not people there like there's there's you well, can't wouldn't the top 1200 be the one percent no because it's like after 100 it gets to with 100 after 100 then it's then it's top after 100 percent then it's top 1200 do you actually like see the 100 or does it go 99 percent and then you get an actual number thrive. right yeah that, that's what it is so wouldn't the number be within that one percent <laughs> no, because there's there's just not that like okay all why because right. that's fine <laughs> yeah no no it's not like all twelve hundred people are in that one percent no I mean there's a lot of people playing arena let's see I think uh, I that just... means money wins rank not really. Oh, what are we going to go on here? I mean, I can block Ripjaw and keep Sahili alive for a turn. And then they draw a card. Yeah, that's worth it. Okay. See Was Ripjaw this. going towards Sahili too? Yeah. So why don't you just block this Spellbreaker? It's the same amount of damage. Because this has Trample. Oh. That's a good point. Very good point. <laughs> All right, I'm so try. tired. <laughs> Here, tap this thing to scribe. Just so everyone knows, uh, I've yeah, been up for 27 hours now. Like yeah, like 28. 28. Cause, yeah, because you yeah. messaged me before three yesterday. 28 hours. I'm running off of caffeine at this moment. <laughs> Let's draw. We need the claw. <laughs> Dr. Tobias knows what's up. Where's the claw? I don't really know, like, how... I don't really remember this deck too well. Like, I don't know how we're going to... Like, I don't think we have any sweepers that I can, like, really remember. Hmm. I don't really know how we keep our... Like, our, even if we draw Tezzeret, like, I don't know how we keep Tezzeret alive. Kind of thing. That's a very good point. We have not done a very good job of drawing Tezzerets, though. <laughs> making servos, though. Yeah, we are making some servos. That's pretty sweet. Definitely glad we kept... Sihili alive for that turn. All right, so we've gone through 20 cards, but we know the bottom five aren't really doing anything. Oh, I mean, so, yeah, I, I never stay up this late unless it's hanging out. Oh, no. That's not good. So is that going to eat the treasure cove, or is that going to eat a 1-1? One -one? I'm going to say it's going to eat the treasure cove. Yep, you're right. I mean, if I was a giant worm and I saw a servo... Or this nice little treasure cove. <laughs> and I had to pick which one to eat. You're eating the treasure cove? I mean, think about it. I don't know. There might Servos. be buried treasure there. <laughs> These are like pop rocks. This deck wins with uh, Tezzeret. Uh, no blocks. Blocking's lame. Innovation knows no bounds. All right, where's Tezzeret? Tezzeret for a big chunk of damage. Yeah, it's, I don't know how many. I think we only have like three Tezzerets in here, two or three. 
I love this little fountain of renewal that could. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that makes a big old thing. Yeah, I'll keep that. That's a big creature. It is, in fact. Let us begin. Oh. Wow. Fifteen. Dang. Now that's a thick construct. 15, 15. Oh man, so if we draw Tezzerite, it's deal 15, gain 15. <laughs> wow, that is That's... actually really good. <laughs> yeah. And next turn, it's going to be two more because this treasure map's going to flip. I think they have to send stuff at Karn at this point. Well, I don't have any thuds. Where's this deck at? What else do we got in here? Oh, we have Enter the God Eternals. We have a couple what? of those. And a Psy. Where'd your Psy go? Oh, could yeah. Use a... We have two Psy's. could definitely use a Psy. So yeah, how many? We have three Tezzerets. And Tyrant Scorn? Oh, we have two of the other Tezzeret also. Okay. Oh, thanks Storm for for reminding me I need the upkeep stop. Yeah, 15-15, that's maximum carnage. Hmm, not, a, not just killing the Karn? So we're going to get another 15-15 next turn? Well, you, you know, even bigger? 16-16? God, Tezzeret would just put us over the top, wouldn't it? Yeah, Tezzeret would be sweet. Oh, just got a lightning strike. Thrash, no! There are great battles to fight. Or Thrash. Tezzy. That is not, not a Tezzeret. Not a Tezzeret. I guess it would have stopped with this Founder Renewal anyway. Also not. Not a Tezzeret. So we know we have seven lands at the bottom of the library. All right. Yeah, like one, two, three. Wow. Yeah, we have seven. We scried seven lands Jeez. to the bottom, plus that Spyglass. So where are our one of our three Tezzeret? Hey, that's a card. Welcome back. Not a Tezzeret though. I guess maybe I should have attacked for Tyrant Scorn. What does that do? I guess that bounces a Phoenix, keeps you alive for a little longer. Yeah. I have faced worse than the likes of you. Awaken! Let us attack for 17. Can I, can I not attack? Okay, there we go. I was like, is there a rule against attacking or something? <laughs> Just gonna send him in. Hmm. One, one? Alright, well that's acceptable. Uh, nom nom. More sleep facts. Yikes. Yeah, I would love it if they did away with that. So when 1.6 billion people participate in daylight savings time in the fall and then lose an hour of sleep, there's a 24% increase in heart attacks, car wrecks, and strokes. That, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. The very next day. No Ooh. sword can oh pierce no, my scales. Dead? I think we're just dead. No, we have Tyrant Scorn. Never mind. We're good. Are you ready? Not sure if we're good, but we got. I mean, we're score. good for one turn. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it has to be. It's gotta be Tezzeret. Tezzeret. Deal seventeen, gain seventeen is pretty sweet. Yeah. It just it has to be. Can they recast the Phoenix? Uh, I don't. Oh, you just said. Like they can recast anyway. the Dior though. I just killed it. Oh. 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 Yeah, we just got to kill Kiora. That was brilliant. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Oh. Mm. My pets are that's hungry. fine. And you look uh, do you want to... Tezzeret! Uh, well, let's see. Uh, hmm. 
Start drawing. <laughs> Every card we draw just makes Tezzeret worse. Uh, that's true. But, you know, not having Tezzeret is the worst. Can't do anything with that. Bleh. They flew. Uh, no, no, unfortunately. You can draw with the... Do you have enough to cast? How much is it to crack the fountain? Three? Yeah, three to, ca to okay. crack fountain. This costs three, and then two more to crack more artifacts. All right. Um, I guess just crack the fountain. I, mean, I don't you're, think we're going to... Yeah, you're going to have to... I'm just going to give up. Yeah. But before uh, do, that... Do, before, yeah, I, no, I, I still think before you do that, you should crack that fountain and see if you draw a tether. Behold, new wonders. All right, sure. I'll just crack the fountain. Watch it be Tezzeret. Wow, it was Tezzeret after I just wasted three mana here. I done told you. I done told you. <laughs> I just wasted three mana there. I like to think fast. All right, well, we're swinging with a bunch. Come on, listen to them roar. Maybe they won't block. So Tezzeret can do 11. Oh, man, just like one one off of lethal. No, 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 because we only have sack two, because we, we get the Mox Amber now after mm -hmm. Sahili. So we can do 12. That keeps us not alive. Well, it does, does put us to one. What? How? Or like... Uh, no, you're right, you're right. Yeah, because we're going to go to 17. Correct. Oh no, because that thing. Oh! Bad. That is brilliant. Up we go. <laughs> I Boom. love it. The claw. <laughs> oh. just now the just no burn spell and we are golden. The claw, not even. A, it can't even be a shock. Sahili actually like worked out there. It did. It did indeed. Because Sahili turned on the Mox Amber. And you were going to give up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just no shock, please. No strike. No shock. No burn. No c collision. Colossus. And Sahili gave us another. You know, another thirteen, thirteen to kill all their things. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, if we just draw another one. I mean, we just attack again. <laughs> this deck looks baller. <laughs> what? You're taking out the one with the landmark counter? It was so shiny. Oh! Chomped it. The landmark counter one. Can they actually attack here? Come to me. Wow. Yeah. I mean, they have to anticipate us swinging in with everything. Imagine if we draw an artifact and play Cyphers. Oh, okay. Wow, we won. Ah, ah. <laughs> we won. <laughs> wow. Todd, Todd, you should crack that uh, Fountain of Renewal. <laughs> <laughs> We had to look at so many cards we found a Tezzeret, but we found a Tezzeret. Wow. All right, well, I definitely want this other Contempt. Um... Instead of an Enter the God Eternals. All right. <clears throat> that was crazy. Yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't say GG after uh, Kitties said GG. I didn't. No, I didn't have enough time.
I, I wasn't expecting that, that game to actually be over and us actually win. Ugh. Wasn't expecting that. Hey, Dejanski. What a crazy game. So I want to save Guild Globe till after I play, like, Psy. Ooh, my... Right, my lawn person's calling, one second. Destroy the war boss. Should I go Sai or Sahili? Um, if you go Sahili first, you'll make a servo with Sai. No, because Sahili only does non creatures. Oh, I thought it was historic. No, oh, not okay, non creature. So we'll just go Sai. That, that starts making flying thopters. So that's good. Hmm. So if I play Sahili, then Sahili's going to take four, but then we'll have Sahili whenever we start going Guild Globes, and we'll, then we'll... Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you might as well just let her take the hit, because... I mean, a burn a burn spell, or a, like a Domri. Mm. And then you uh, get, like, no value whatsoever. Yeah. Mm. I guess we'll just go Guild Globe and Tyrant's, Tyrant's score and bounce this. Well, do you want to do it on their turn? Does it matter? Yeah, because they'll probably play something free combat. I. We don't need that point of damage in. Nah. That's not how we're winning. Nah. We're winning with massive chunks of Tezzeret. <laughs> the claw. They play something pre combat, they say. Oh, yeah. So if this is Sarkin that makes a 4-4 token, we could kill the 4-4 token. See? Oh, what a paradise drift. Aha. Uh -huh. Look at that. Bounce. Alright, come on, land. Is uh Yay. Cindervine's instant sorcery or is it just non-creature? Non-creature. Okay. Gonna deal some damage to us. Marvel at my masterpiece. Ow. So two mana, you get... So for two mana, you get a 1-1 a, a one, one flyer, a 1-1 one, one on the ground, and you get to draw a card. I like it. That's what pretty, a rate. That's pretty good. I guess I should probably attack with this flyer. Mm-hmm. And the 1-4. Unless you expect, like, a gruel spellbreaker. Yeah, well, do I need to attack with a 1-4? Hey, what's up, Yud? It's going good. We've had some really good games here. Mm -hmm. Like, the last game that we just played was crazy. You just missed just an awesome game. And there is the Sarkin. Well, now we're definitely not attacking with 1-1s one anymore. End has arrived. I mean, we had to hazard it. This is so that's two, four, six life right there. Pretty good. So I don't really care about Cinder Vines now. I am here. The next turn, whenever. I <laughs> love it. <laughs> oh wait, wait. What does this do? Makes planeswalkers you have have affinity, affinity for artifacts. artifacts. Free that's right. Karn! That's right. Yeah, Karn's free. <laughs> oh, I should I should have done this first. Well, no, because it. it wasn't didn't have affinity. Yeah, no, it has it has affinity. No, but I mean like I should have done played the Karn because we would have got two more oh, artifacts. Oh, gotcha. And then, and then ticked up. Yeah, yeah before right, I ticked so that's up. That's two damage you missed. Yeah, so I missed two. Yeah. 
I missed two life there. That's fine. Evil cannot withstand a righteous army. So wait, we'll have the guild glow be an 8-8 and attack the Sarkin. That is Some a very... For you yeah, all. that's amazing. Why not attack them? Uh -huh. <laughs> They'll die eventually. I will consume you. And they will indeed. And now this Tezzeret only costs blue blue. I forgot about that part of Tezzeret, making our planeswalkers cost nothing. <laughs> Alright, so we could be at 20, they could be at 14. 14. Tezzeret, best red. Dude, Tezzeret's sweet. That's cool. So do you like making an Athopter or drawing two cards? I'm drawing two cards at this point. Drawing two cards. You think two cards are worth more than a 1-1 flyer? Mostly, yeah, because uh, you're probably going to draw a Guild Gate and then play that and be empty-handed. I don't like that. Might demands power. Does it? I mean, it might <laughs> demand <laughs> power. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he could use the Cinder Vines to kill one of the Thopters, but I guess not. Let's keep crying around. So I do need to cast more artifacts to get more flying blockers. Which is why you should draw cards. This could make one flying blocker. How? By oh, taking up. Making a ticking up. Okay. Yeah. We'll see. We may. Yeah, it's a good point. Uh, that kills the Karn's Karn struck. All right. I think I think I'm in for just drawing two. Yeah. Especially if you could get a uh, Mox Do you thingy. Brilliance comes easily to me. Ooh, treasure map. Another, I mean, we just get to double Tezzeret, right? Double Tezzeret, is that enough? How many you only have? Well, well here, let's play this. That'll, that'll get two more artifacts. Doesn't the other Tezzeret have affinity for artifacts? Oh my god. Yeah, so this only gross. costs two mana. That is so Bzz. gross! This is for nine. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we forgot to make a Karn Strike again. Or clawing. claw. In. Dude, the claw is sweet. Dude, Tether, that's awesome. Wow, what a fun card. That animation is just so cool. That's all I want to do is just tick up and see that animation, and just a bunch of life from my opponent go down and my life total go way up. Laser to the face. But for for all those out there in YouTube land. Um, GG's. Make sure you minus the Karn first. Yeah, we, That's just I, good sequencing. I had counted. We we had enough. We had enough. GG's there, kitties. GG. GG's. Uh, yeah, that was sweet. That was sweet. All right. Uh, let's see who is up next. See, I told you that's why I wanted to play that deck. That was pretty legit. Yeah. I enjoyed that. All right, so type battle if you want to be the next person to uh, play. Yeah, we probably should just play Fortez in that deck. Mm, yeah. French fries. Yeah, we should just have Fortez in that deck. I agree. That deck was sweet. It, it could use some kind of sweeper. I don't know what it could really have. You know, like, I don't know what the best, like, sweeper is in those colors. Like, if you want, I don't know, maybe I even, mean, like. The sweepers kind of destroy all your stuff, too, though. Maybe just Rivers Rebuke, honestly. Just bounce their stuff to slow them down. That's not bad. Honestly. You just want to keep on building on your side and just slow them down. Could have a Phyrexian... What's the, the Phyrexian one? Um, Phyrexian Scriptures. Or destroy all non-artifact uh, creatures. It takes a turn. Oh, hmm. There's not like a... T I mean, I guess there is a good amount of artifact removal with like the Teferis and everything. Uh, yes, the Tesla deck is removal. on Stream Decker. It's a... Uh, yeah, I mean, Demir Tezzerator is the Yeah, or if you just you just hit deck, exclamation point deck, oh, it should be up right yeah, now. B Golem got him. Or maybe. Oh, never mind. It's not up on exclamation point deck. But yeah, B Golem. Thanks. That's, that's the link there. All right. Did everybody uh, 
Looks like, oh, wow, Looks lots of like people you. typed battle. All right, looks like everybody was in there. All right, let's see who is up. Storm. Oh, God, it's Storm. And they said they were going to bed after that. Yeah, Storm said this was, last Storm, time was the last you, you, one. You lied. You lied. <laughs> All right, if we can't decide, we'll decide for you. A thousand percent rigged. A <laughs> thousand percent. All right, what deck am I playing against Storm? All right, so that that's like, you know, we only had two left that were redos. Right. So, so yeah, I got to re... Yeah, we already played Team Hydra. Yep, we got to re-spin here. What was the other one? Um... Golgari Graveyard. Yes. That's That's the one other re-spin. Let's see if we hit it here. Now, we already, we already played Hydra. Tron. Mono Green Tron! Tron. All right, send me that gamer tag, Storm. There's my gamer tag there. Uh, we played Hydra uh, earlier. I think it was our first win, actually. Yeah, the very first match we played Team mm -hmm. Hydra. Did you update the... Update. Oh, are we 9-2 and two or 8-2? and two? I did update that. We're 8-2. Okay. and two. Um, Where is Tron? Tron. All right, so Mono that should set Green as Tron. current deck. Oh yeah, it doesn't update the. It does not update the exclamation point deck. Actually, it does not. Um. All right, so now. V. Storm oh, and. Mono Green Tron. Tron. All right, so if you don't know this deck. MGT. This is what we got. It's just mono green ramp with trying to get a whole lot of mana with Nyssa and then use Karn and Ugin with a lot of mana. <laughs> got a plain white celebration in there. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you just want to proliferate a bunch or gain a lot of life or bring back a lot of things. And we want Karn to go get like God Pharaoh statu statue and then turn the statue into a creature, and then get Helm of the Host, and then Helm of the Host that statues, so then you can get a whole oh, bunch of statues. Oh, so good. I love, this is my favorite deck. Uh. <laughs> Wake me up when these games are over. Well, they'll be uh, over either really quickly in, or one way or the other, I guess. Do you think Storm is playing Mono Green Tron also? Um, with the Karn Avatar? Do you I, think he switched over to the Karn Avatar because we were Tron? So. Hello. Nope. The Watery Grave. Um, no, it doesn't have Zap. Man, that Zap was awesome. Double Zap. Ew. Choose Null High Ferox. Do we have a Null High Ferox? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't mean they can't choose it. Mars attack deck. Call it the double zap. Bzz, bzz. Bzz. All right, Karn down. Is there any more lands? There we go. Land drop. Sorry, Wild Growth Walker, you're not going to do anything this game. Rixis. That's a good one. So Ripshaw doesn't die to Ritual of Soot. Which is why I'm playing it right now. Because like if Ritual of Soot's a sweeper here, Ripshaw gets to stay around. Good call. Hmm. Boom. Now I'll have the Paradise Druid, so if we get to draw a land, we get to Nyssa. Grixis control. This was another ritual. Ooh, that's a good one. 
Hey, Wild Growth Walker did something. <laughs> Fodder for the bowls. Yeah. Good job, Wild Growth Walker. Way to do something. Hey, uh, here we go. Through this land, we are all connected. Harness the elements. Get in there. And I do. I don't want to make like a three-three because you know. Yeah. Why would you? I don't want the a three-three to get swept so up. So much removal. They just chew them up. Yep. But now we're gonna have enough mana for Ugin at next turn. Ugin getting rid of Nicole Bolas. That's perfect. Flavor win. It's the best. This other walker is going to take the spot of the discard as well. Yep. I guess big bolus? No, sure. Stop! Ah, I see. Ah. Uh, Nissa dies. I must seek comfort in the land. Unfortunately. So that puts them down to three if they don't do anything. We can still draw land and be able to Ugin. Oh, please draw a land. That would just be... Oh, uh, well. That's a thing. Attack. Getting that Ripjaw down was right in time. Mm-hmm. Uh, Storm's like, why does that card have to have five toughness? <laughs> uh, it would four. have four counters. It would have one charge counter and three plus one plus one counters. For a total of four counters. What you talking about? Oh, uh, if you make Blazone a creature. Okay, so if you make Blazone a creature, yeah. Mm -hmm. It would have four counters, one of which is a charge, three of which are plus one plus ones. Yep. So it cannot kill Nucklebolus the Ravager like that. Correct. If you sacrifice it. Ripjaw Raptor does sound like a, a wrestler, begin. like a pro wrestler. I don't. That doesn't save them. Well, no, yeah, because I I need to draw a land here to kill them. Draw mm. land. Land one time. Land nowhere else. Mm. Hmm. Okay, well, that's not those works. And fear are the seeds of disaster. Yeah, All right, so since, so yeah, if, if we would have drawn the land, we would have killed this dragon so it wouldn't kill the Paradise Druid and then attack with everything. Right. But we didn't draw the land. We did not draw the land. And so instead... Watch this! <laughs> I love it. Listen to them. All right. Draw two cards off of it. I may need oh, to go sorry. talk to my lawn person, so can you... Sure, go for it. Can you play here for a second? Yep. There is no peace in defeat. All right. Taking over. Playing the cards. Falling asleep at the wheel. I know more than you could learn in a thousand lifetimes. Bathe okay. in ghost fire. That's definitely not looking good for the home team. Well, we can this kill their Ugin. Karn. What does this deck have in the sideboard? Let's see here. What can we get? Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay. No, he's just down the. All right, you back? Yep. Get. Oh mm -hmm. no, this doesn't look good. No, they they uh they cleaned you out, boss. This doesn't look good. I mean, definitely had to kill their Ugin for sure. I was looking at your sideboard to see what I can get. It like, wasn't looking promising. No. <laughs> Basically, Spyglass would have been like the good thing, but... Yeah, but you were going to kill it anyway, so... Yeah. Meh. Wrong card. Must not you missed your chance to concede. <laughs> Just concede, join team chat. <laughs> uh, sorry, excuse me. So 
was down to one card. And uh, what did they... They hit a land, I assume? You gave them a land? Yeah. Ooh, there we go. GG. Nope. That puts it at one. No, it doesn't even <coughs> put it at one because you don't have enough mana. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Uh, hmm. I still think you get rid of the dragon and attack. Yeah. Yep, that's just the plan. Close out this game. I came into being long before your kind ever existed. I can Ugin can't kill Karn even if I wanted to, because Karn right. is colorless. I mean, as opposed to taking up is what I guess I would say. Yeah. We all thought Boot was part of Steam Chat, and we feel betrayed. Boot is a traitor! <laughs> oh, dang it, Storm. We do have lethal on board. Oh, we still have lethal on board. So Storm Jester of Planeswalker can gain a life. We think they have a removal spell? Yeah. Jam it. Uh, or not jam it. Uh, turn him sideways. <laughs> what do they have in exile for Karn? I don't think I have. I like got anything good. Yeah, I mean, Spyglass is just gonna be my best thing. I think just to name Karn. Right. And I can still do that since we drew that land. I can still do that. Like there, there's not anything like for four mana that's better if I waited. Stubborn little bugger, isn't he? <laughs> I will fight this Titan is born. <laughs> Alright, what do they have in their hand? Whoops. <laughs> that was almost. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong card. <laughs> All right, Nars, that's a good draw. Okay. Gain a life. My uh, can we get an, an explore creature, please, one time? And Meditate be done with this. And prepare. Well, I mean, I can, I can also just get God Pharaoh statue. So we can get the extra, we can do the extra one. And plus, I mean, I can, or I could just take up and make this a 2-2 creature also. Mm. We have a lot of options here. Sweet. Oof. That's not gonna save him, but I'll get him another chance for Bedevil. Yep. Mind and body Man, uh, should move in unison. I'm starting to feel bad. Like getting like action. hot flashes, like hot and cold for some reason. Well, that's not good. No. Probably need to eat something. Oh hey, we got there. Uh, they can't cast it. Yeah. Did you just some beat him down with a spyglass? <laughs> yeah. Being down, spy glasses. <laughs> so Grixis control, I don't think we're really going to do anything. I mean, force landing is like, you know, like that, that gets rid of Nicol Bolas. Which, you know, could be a huge problem. That's, like, the... Probably our one, like, card that we could maybe play. I don't think we really need to, though. Uh, we'll see. Well, Wild Growth Walker is <laughs> not any good. Yeah, like, Wild Growth Walker is just not any good here. So let's just get rid of Wild Growth Walkers and, I guess, play some fourth... Force landings and rip jaws. Let's see what we got here for game two.
What is the best deck for the counters event? Yeah, I haven't I haven't played the counters event yet, but uh, did hear from um, somebody in in the Discord channel that says that they did really well with Mono Red in the counters event. That the counter event helped them like with Steamkin and and just also helped him kind of be aggressive and and everything. Um, so I don't know, but yeah, they said they they finished up all ten wins in around an hour with that. Uh, Naxo, Modern Horizons will not be coming to Magic Arena at all. This isn't looking so good. Which one do you, which one of these do you want to field of ruin? Blood Crypt or Watery Grave? Blood Crypt. Alright, how about now? How about Watery Grave? <laughs> I don't I don't know exactly what I'm moving yet, Sway. Uh, no, not at all. It's not. Modern Horizons is on Magic Online, but it will not come to Arena. Right, because it was made for the modern format. It's none of those cards are legal and standard. Like you can't you can't play any of those cards in standard. Our hand was almost a rest proof. Ah, gotcha. All right, so we're gonna have five mana next turn. That's a. Uh, do you just crucible world? Yes. Yeah, that's what yes, I was thinking. Like let's crucible. do that. You want to see this? Yes, I just want to put them on the wasteland plan. This is gonna be sweet. It's unfortunate that we don't get to actually play crucible and activate field of ruin next turn. Two basic islands. I know eighty-eight ways to Grixis? your prowess. With like Nicobolas, the cost triple black. Um, hmm. I will read you. Yeah, that's about it. Then feel the ruin. Yep, Nicobolas. Make sure you get the right one. Uh, that does not have the, the correct Dra one. Dragon God. <laughs> oh, wait, it is the correct one. Yeah. That was, actually. Yep. All right, Dragon God. All right. Next turn, we start wastelanding them. Yep. Just, just to oblivion. Uh, so that's just a bug. That whenever you cast Sorcerer's Spyglass, that's what happens. It only happens when you cast Sorcerer's Spyglass. Ooh, that's I fight with a dragon's rage. They are coming. Hmm. I will we didn't get on our plan fast enough. Reached my limit. Oh, hey. Didn't want to do the untap one. I guess it doesn't matter. They don't yeah. know their hand. Yeah, I'm getting like the one that's like swamps and mountains. Getting those first. No, I was gonna say the untapped one. That way they don't get two mana untapped. <coughs> right, but that was Dragon Skull Summit. But like that's not a swamp or mountain. I want to get the swamp, the ah, swamp mountains. Okay. To to make them come to play tap. Yeah. Gonna take him off of red. So if they take up Sarkin, we get to just tuck Sarkin and I was like, Oh, you do both. But Tuck and the Narset doesn't, doesn't really do matter because they, they have another one. But we get to Tuck, Sar Tark, Tuck Sarkin. You went with the Selesnia counters deck. It went 10-3. Good job, Chief Seth. Oh, the spooky noise? That's the, the guy cutting the lawn. Or it could be the fact that I'm actually possessed by an evil spirit. Yeah, you're probably here in the, the lawn bean mode. I, I do exercise. Oh, wrong Keep exercise. <laughs> <laughs> Magnificent! Ooh. 
Le. Mm. Starting to feel like I should have just got Spyglass instead of Crucible. Well, maybe not. We'll see. See how long we can keep this up. Let's see, if, is it strip mine yet? Come on! Yes! Wait, no, no it not. hasn't resolved. Yes! Yeah. All right. All right. Strip mine mode. What you gonna do when you can't cast red? Meditate and prepare. I mean, they'll probably just kill us with the Sarkin. Not negate? Yeah, we don't care about that. Uh, well, we do kind of care about that. Yeah, we do care about that. We care about that a lot, actually. Dang it. Yeah, Sarkin's just going to kill us. Dang it. So I need to draw another Karn, which will just get negated. Yeah. So if I draw creatures, it gets ritual suited. So we need to overload I something. I summon you. Mobilize district? Mobilize district would be nice. It's not in our deck, but oh. that'd be nice. Well then never mind. Uh rip draw? Yeah, that could do it. Actually. Rip draw would be a pretty good draw. We kinda need to draw it now though. Uh... Why am I doing this before Field of Rune? I don't know. Well, our window to draw rip jaw was. Yeah. Maybe Storm doesn't cast Ritual of Soot. Maybe. That still doesn't say. Oh no! Is that thing just take out here? Yeah. can't cast negate. Yep, that's the plan. So now we can feel the ruin the Dragon Skull Summit. They really shouldn't have tapped the island. Look or the swamp. The you know, like, yeah. keep two, two basics. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we can punish from here. Uh, Spyglass is on uh, Nicole Bolas' Dragon God. Yeah, we, we Spyglass is the Dragon God. They drew the Sarkin after, after that. Okay, so... So we need Karn or Ugin. Karn or Ugin? That's not Karn or Ugin. Mm, dang it. So close! Ugh. That's true. That's true. If they held a, like another uh, land in hand at that point, they'd have got us good. Not really. Well, if it's another basic, but yeah. they don't have any more basics. Because if it's another another dual land, I just play the field of ruin, destroy it, no, go to no, second no, lane. No, I'm not another basic. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. Storm <laughs> is one game away here. Let's see, we're eight and two. Yep, eight and two. Pretty good. Uh, I hope so too, Sway. Oh, that's <laughs> a hand. I like that hand. Yeah, it's a good curve. We'll try to have Paradise Root on... Like, we'll play Paradise Root on two, try to go with Ripjaw on three. Then... Mm -hmm. um, you know, as we've seen, like the rip jaw is difficult for Storm to deal with. I do think the force landings have been better than Wild Growth Walkers would be. I'd agree with that. So I think that was a good sideboarding choice. Mm -hmm. No. Nice, JJ. My rip jaw. No. Oh, dang it. Rip. <laughs> Rip. <Yeah. laughs> and thanks, chocolate milk. And thanks, chocolate milk. <laughs> That's chocolate milk. 82. Okay. Uh, so far, so good, Kurtash. I am deliriously tired. And hungry. 
but I am enjoying the sub battle. Oh. I'll play. Damage. It says good evening. I'll go make a pizza after this mm, one. Pizza. After this match. You want to play the next match? Sure. Night. All right, so likely Ritual of Soot here, right? Like, that's... Yep. So we'll go... Let him draw. Yeah, let him draw. Get the basic. And then, no, cancel. Mm, Let's... Tap Ooh, this correctly. new sub, high score hero. High score hero, thank you so much for that sub. Welcome to the channel. Let's get some hype boats in the channel there for our new subscriber. Our fifth sub of the day. So I'm going to <clears throat> Field of Ruin, the two black sources. I love everything about that. Prevent the ritual slit. Yeah, it could, I mean, Storm can grab a swamp here and... So they're floating. Unless, you know, the swamp's not in Storm's hand. Oh, if they do the swamp, that'd be great. Oh, actually, that's fine. I guess they didn't have the slit. They didn't do that. Or they do, and they just couldn't cast it. <gasps> Did we just strip mine him two times? Or just the other one? They drew the swamp! Yes! And, and so he's got to have the island in hand also, because yes! he didn't play the island. Oh, I should play the blast zone here. Just to take up. And we get Ugin too. So if they yeah, have so a bullets, we just... One of these has to be island. Yeah, and Field of Ruin's great. Alright, that sounds that looks like a counter spell over there. Stone Rains, QQ. <laughs> I mean, what's a counter spell against our Well that's why I didn't play the Ugin. Oh, okay. Like I think no, that makes perfect. I think sense. most people just slam Oog in there, but I think nah, that's... there's no no reason to make him answer the board. Yep. All right, victory. GG Storm. GG. <laughs> no Storm. <laughs> GGs. All right. Well, this is a good spot to. To uh... feel the ruin? Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Good yeah. game, both sides played well. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a good, good spot to end part two of the sub battle stream. So we got part three up next. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you click over there. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again for the next video.